At Tirana, we found that people often have trouble believing what we report about the great performance our wireless technology achieves in the field. Rather than bringing all of you to a demo, which would be ideal but has some practical problems, we thought we'd bring the demo to you because as our customers will attest when it comes to our technology, seeing is definitely believing. This short reel documents a demo conducted in Italy in the fall of 2014. For a number of network architects and RF engineers from a Tier 1 multinational mobile operator and one of our global systems integration partners. We want to warn you before we proceed, our customers report that what you're about to watch is unlike anything you've ever seen in wireless before, really, and it will change your assumptions about what's possible with NLOS Wireless. First, a few words on the setup for context. We start with a relatively straightforward point-to-point -point link with a linear distance of 190 meters between the base location, what we call the concentrator node, or CN, and the remote location, i.e. the end node, or EN. Line of sight is completely blocked by three buildings between the EN and CN. In the baseline configuration, the nodes are aligned to take best advantage of reflections off of an apartment building on the right and diffraction over the rooftops of the buildings in the line of sight path. Looking at the setup from the CN end, you can see the CN on its pole to the left, the blockage of line of sight to the EN, which is positioned beneath the eave level on the far side of the third building off in the distance, and the apartment building on the right. Throughout the demo, we use our mobile installation app connected to either the CN or the EN via Bluetooth to give us a continuous readout of link quality as we experiment with different configurations. The most important metric to watch in the evaluation of an NLOS system is how close it comes to maintaining its performance in an ideal line of sight link as conditions get more complicated. For Tirana's Absolute Air solution, that translates into maintaining enough clean signal to interference and noise ratio to achieve stable 256 quam modulation, what we define as a full rate link. Conversion from this to data rate depends on how much spectrum you're using, of course. Given our system's 10 bits per second per hertz of spectral efficiency for a single link and a 40 MHz channel, for example, this can mean a full rate link of a healthy 400 megabits per second. The demo you're about to see involves taking a series of increasingly sort of crazy steps to try to break the baseline link by manipulating one end or the other of the link. As you'll see, nothing we tried broke the connection. We start with validation that the baseline link is achieving full rate using our smartphone app to report that link quality is in fact a 100% full rate. Next, we take the CN off its pole and point it directly at the first building to the northwest. Uh, note that the node directions are highlighted on the map to the left of your screen for those of you trying to follow this at home. Raising the bar a little further, we point the CN straight east with the same full rate result. After pointing the CN to the southeast in the opposite direction of the EN, note, uh, the system also maintains a full rate link. Since none of that was challenging at all, we go next to some of the slightly crazy variations in the demo. First, we place the CN face down on the roof, which in the end, uh, that's a little harder, so that does limit us to a 79% uh, full rate connection. That didn't break the link though, so we tried putting it next in the metal hut on the roof uh, that's next to that and closing the door with just enough of a crack to keep the Bluetooth connection working, uh, if you're curious how we, how we kept that going. Here the system was able to maintain enough of a connection through the RF leaks in the hut to achieve a 51% full rate. Still didn't break the link. From the hut we moved to the roof edge where we point the CN at the ground on the far side of the building from the EN which is off to your right, three buildings away in this view of the scene. This got us 74% of full rate. At the last test on the CN side, we pointed it at the sky, maintaining a connection off the sides of the antennas at 87% of full rate. On the EN side, where we go next, we were even more unsuccessful at degrading the link. First, pointing the EN to the northeast, essentially directly away from the CN, still gave us a full rate link. Pointing it northwest also yielded a full rate link. Taking advantage of an unused no parking sign that we happened to find leaning against the building foundation when we were uh, gathering for this part of the test, 
We passed that up to see what would happen if we shielded the antennas with it first from a short distance, as you can see, uh, which had no effect on the rate. We then uh, moved to the next part, which is putting the aluminum sign directly against the ray dome of the EN unit, also with no effect on the rate. In the final EN test, we point the EN directly at the side of the building, and once again, we maintain a full rate link. While we're certainly proud of the unprecedented NLOS performance we've been able to achieve in the field, it's even more satisfying to see our customers and partners who've been frustrated by challenges with NLOS wireless get excited about the technology and express their confidence that it can help them address their network challenges. Now that you've seen, and we hope at least begun to believe, we'd like to answer some of the common questions that we've heard at this stage in the conversation. How do you do that is often the first on the list. In a publicly posted video like this, we can't say a lot, obviously, but we can outline some general principles. If you combine many antennas and radios, a lot of processing power, a suite of very advanced algorithms, and a team with a lot of experience building sophisticated radio systems, it turns out you can achieve very different behavior in the field than the world has seen before when it comes to harnessing and controlling RF energy. With the tools in our box, we thrive on multipath, we can cancel co-channel interference perfectly, and adapt, as you've seen, continuously, automatically, and very quickly to changing conditions even of the most extreme kind. Based on our operator engagements to date, we know this technology will deliver real value in a number of applications, where much more last mile bandwidth is desired, but fiber is too expensive or downright impossible in many cases to build out. These applications include non-line of sight backhaul, wireless fiber extension, and fixed wireless access. We understand there are a lot of what we call nominal and loss options in the market today. There are three reasons why our customers are choosing us over our predecessors in the category. First, as you've seen, our gear maintains full rate links in extreme non-line of sight conditions no one else can touch. We've seen ample evidence of this from field trials over the past year that, that actually went much, much further in testing the system than what you've seen here today. Second, because all of the RF tools we've included in our box do such a great job of handling co-channel interference, we scale much more efficiently. While conventional point-to-multipoint wireless transport architectures divide base site capacity among multiple remote sites through time or frequency partitioning, a Tirana system divides resources in space instead, delivering multiple full rate lengths in the same channel at the same time. Third, the spectral efficiency advantages of our unique architecture, given what I've just described, and the performance we can offer translate directly into substantial total cost of ownership advantages for operators, both in terms of one-time cost and ongoing operations, in all three of the applications we're targeting. Please don't be shy if you're wondering how you might be able to get your hands on some of this great performance. Just hit our website, click the Contact Us button, and we'll get started. We can't wait to hear from you.